Hello chess lovers, Soren here and in this video I would like to share with you an entertaining game from the recent Liches titled Arena. On your screen you can see the final standings of the tournament and as you can see the reigning world chess champion Magnus Carlsen who was playing under a nickname Dr. Nuktorstein is the winner. The second prize took Ilya Nizhnik who was playing under a nickname Chess Whip and American chess prodigy Akshat Chandra, playing under a nickname Baba Ramdev, is in the third place. In this video, I want to share with you a game played between Magnus Carlsen and Akshat Chandra. But before starting our game, if you are new to my channel, consider subscribing in order not to miss my future uploads. And now let's get started with our game and see what happened on the board. Akshat Chandra, who was playing under a nickname Baba Ramdev, opened up with e4 and a crazy unorthodox chess opening by Carlsen f5. He goes for a very rare Duras Gambit where Black is sacrificing a pawn without a compensation. He takes f5, white accepted the Gambit hit pawn. In here, Black is usually playing knight f6, but Carlsen went for king f7. He's giving odds, guys. What's happening? But can white make use of Carlsen's crazy idea? Here we have queen h5 check, g6, and f takes g6 check. You can't recapture with the g pawn. You can lose your rook. That's why Carlsen played king g7, and after g takes h7, rook takes h7. If we have a look at the board, this is move 5, and already white is two pawns up. White moved back his queen on d1 and this time we have e5. Black king is completely exposed and let's see, can this king become an easy target for white pieces? Knight c3, knight f6, c takes d5, bishop f5, knight e2. Meanwhile, white is proceeding with his development and in return, Carlsen is gathering his pieces around his naked king, bishop e2, knight d7, bishop g5, bishop d6, queen d2, knight h5, white castles, queen side, and queen f7. So far so good, white has a totally winning position, but this was a bullet game guys, and everything can happen in a bullet game. Blunders are all there waiting for their turn to be made, and it was in here that Baba Ramdev made a terrible mistake and played king b1. This is probably the worst move possible in this position, which stepped into this e3 check and now it's black who is winning. White is losing his queen. Queen d3, first we have knight takes g3, after which Carlsen won white queen. The rest is easy guys, the rest is a matter of time and let's see how Carlsen finished up his opponent. He went for rook takes e3, allowed white to win his queen but even in this case black is winning. Black has an extra rook, bishop e2, another pawn drops, bishop g4, knight f6, bishop e6 check and rook takes e6. Carlsen is simplifying the position and let's see how he will finish up his opponent. Meanwhile, white is looking for a counterplay, but there is nothing white can do. Black's position is super solid and this is an easy win. Meanwhile, another pawn drops, rook g7, knight e3, king a2 and bishop e5. It's over, guys. White made a desperate king b3 move, but after bishop takes g7, we have a resignation. <laughs> Another crazy game, guys, where Magnus Carlsen gave odds, but his opponent failed to make use of that fact. In the end, a chess puzzle for you, which is also taken from Magnus Carlsen's game. Please take a look at this position and try to find the mating line for white. I will wait for your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching, here are more suggestions for you. Consider checking them out as well. I will see you in my next video. Take care.